Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to the weekend version of True Power Trumpet Fitness. A weekend quickie, man. Anyway, uh, no pedagogy or anything, just some thoughts on some great, great playing. Now, I'm going to put a link down below. Uh, Sir George Schulte in the Chicago Symphony uh, playing Mahler Fifth. Obviously, Herseth is playing first. Pr maybe, who's to say? but maybe the greatest entire orchestra, forget just the brass section, but the entire orchestra ever, under one of maybe the greatest conductors ever. Anyway, just iconic, iconic trumpet playing, okay? Uh, Mahler Fifth, if you listen to the whole thing and you're sitting there with a the score, you will see it's basically, I don't know basically, but it, it, it's pretty close to a concerto for trumpet, man, you know, or, I mean, it really is. There's some just beautiful stuff. Much of it is in the first, the first uh, movement. Okay. Now, of course, you are going to be enthralled with the opening soul. Okay, guys, that's not all the great stuff in in that first movement. It's absolutely wonderful. It goes, it does a variation on that um, opening uh, solo twice. A little different. The last time it does the variation. Now, it's all in the first movement. The opening solo goes up to a D flat, and Herseth just decimates the orchestra <laughs> with that D flat. And it's just wonderful. There's some delicate stuff in there. I mean, it's just wonderful stuff. And I think you like it. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to put on Miroslav Kaimar's Mahler Fifth. And you're going to see the difference. They're both absolutely sublime. And you know how I feel about Herseth. But I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> this Kaimar one, yikes. It, it, it's hard to say you like one more than the other. It is that phenomenal. Anyway, check it out. And also, if you listen to the whole, now, one of the big spots is around six to seven minutes in there. And if you listen to the first, the entire first movement, and again, the whole symphony is there. It's over an hour. But, and one of the greatest symphonies in the world. If Mahler is your, th your guy, this is what you want to listen to. There, there, there's nothing else to listen to. Um, but at the end of the first movement, there is two very delicate, completely by itself, two trumpet um, arpeggios. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Okay? Now, like I just did, Vacchiano was doing that. Okay? I believe it was Bruno Walter, another astounding Mahler fifth. But he was doing, I believe it was uh, Bruno Walter. They were in the studio. Okay, now this was how many years ago? And the last note of the piece, ba -ba -ba -bum, as quiet as can be, Vacchiano clammed the last note. Okay, now this was back before they could punch things in. They're sitting there, Vacchiano is sweating the whole thing. They couldn't fix it. And they couldn't sell the piece. It was so exposed, they couldn't sell the recording with that clam in there. They had to go back to the beginning and do the entire thing again. And Vacchiano said by the time they got to that final arpeggio, he was never so nervous in his entire life for anything. He was literally shaking, he said. He was so nervous. You can imagine. Anyway, if you get that far at the end of the first movement, listen for those arpeggios. I mean, Herseth killed him. But anyway, that's it. We'll talk tomorrow, and I'll put up Kaimars. The link will be down below. Love you all. Okay.